Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace updated media or mixes in Reaper. I have a project set up here, and if I zoom in really close, we can see that the mix is a rough mix. But I've already created edits with it, as we could hear. And I don't want to have to redo these edits, but I've been sent a final mix right here. This is the rough mix I've been using. And this is the final mix the mix has sent me today. And like I said, I don't want to have to redo all my edits. And luckily in Reaper, we don't have to. So the way to do this is to select all the items we want to replace, either by double clicking on the track, if that's the only thing on the track, or we could right click and drag to drag all the items, and then just double click any of them. And that opens up the media item properties for all these items. Then we go down here and just choose a new file. And we're going to choose it for eight takes. And then we'll go to a hard drive and just find where the new mix is. Here's the final. Just double click it. And that replaces it just like that. So if we zoom in now, we can see we're using the final mix as the source file for each item on this track. And it preserved all the edits we made. Undo it. This is the rough mix. And redo it. It's the final mix. Now, if for some reason the start time on each mix is a bit different, we can still fix that by dragging it with a modifier. Hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just dragging to change the timing or the source time of the file which is still going to preserve all the edits based on where the file started. Now we could also just replace some of these. Let's undo it. And let's say we just wanted to replace the rough mix for the last four edits over here. Just select those, double click them, and do the same thing for these selected four takes. And it's just going to replace those last four items final mix and the rough mix on the first four. So it's very flexible. We could just replace certain parts of our mix or all of it. Now, another great example of this feature is if the file type changed. On this song, I started editing it with an MP3, as we can see right here. But now I want to replace it with the WAV file. I was just given. And we could do it the same way, but I want to show you another way. Instead, we could just drag and drop the new file onto this one. Let's go to our hard drive. Here's our folder, and here's the WAV file we want to use. I've been using the MP3, but I could just select this from our hard drive and drag it in on top of the old one. Let go. And Reaper's going to give us a few options. The target media, where we dropped it to, is our MP3. And the source media is the WAV file. And we could choose to insert it as a new item, add the source media as a new take, replace the target media with the source media, or this option, replace all eight occurrences of the target media with the source media. In this situation, this is what we want. Hit OK, and replaced it with the WAV file instead of the MP3 in every instance in the project. Before, it's the MP3, and after, it's the WAV file. So we could drag and drop it, or we could do it in the media item properties. And there's one other example I want to show you. Let's say we recorded 
a podcast and have the audio brought in and tightly edited. But this audio is recorded through Skype or Zoom, so it doesn't sound very good. But I still made the edits ahead of time because I can replace them later. The person I was working with sent me higher quality audio through his good mic, so we can replace the Skype or Zoom audio very easily the same way. Go to our hard drive. Here's the podcast. And here's the Skype audio I was using. And here's the final audio I want to use. Again, we could just select all the audio by double clicking the track and just drag it in and drop it on that file like this. And again, Reaper gives us those options. But we're going to choose to replace all 19 occurrences of the target media with the source media, which is going to replace our Skype or Zoom audio with the higher quality version. Hit OK, and it replaced it all right away. Again, we can readjust it if it started at a different place. Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to readjust the start point, but it should preserve all the edits we made. Again, before it looked like this, and after it looks like this. We preserve the edits that we made previously. So that's pretty much it. That's how to replace updated media or mixes in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.